Boxing is about you fight everybody. If you claim you the best, you gotta fight the best. You know what I'm saying? You don't duck and you don't pick and you don't choose. Hey, you get your butt kicked, you get your butt kicked. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their claw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I ain't got no face fighting there. He's my can't fight. Mm. That's the truth. His record, nine victories, no defeats, one no contest. Six of those victories coming by way of knockout. He is a U.S. Olympic silver medalist. He is the reigning and defending WBO Intercontinental and U.S. WBC lightweight champion representing the seven cities and his hometown of Norfolk, Virginia. He is All right, so coming out immediately, we notice this is a closed stance battle, orthodox versus orthodox. So Pedraza coming straight forward immediately, does a head slot change and fires a jab off of it. Watch as he dips to the left, and fires a jab. It lands on Keyshawn's shoulder and knocks him off balance for a bit. All right, second exchange of the fight. Pedraza goes for the same head slot change. Keyshawn notices it and has an adjustment to it just five seconds into the fight. He steps to the left off of the line and throws a left hook that stops Pedraza from getting his offense off. Pedraza does a rhythm step backward. Key has seen this before. You know he's gonna rock backwards, plant, then step forward. The same rhythm step that he's opened the fight with. Kid is making adjustments and thinking at a high level just seven, eight seconds into the fight. So here he makes a slight mistake. He walks himself into the wrong angle. So Pedraza makes a good move. He slips the jab and takes a step forward to smother Keyshawn's left jab. This was why I don't really like to finish up. So with Keyshawn's left jab smothered and his stance a little bit too bladed to his opponent, there's a few things he can't do in this moment. He can't exit to his left without giving Pedraza an even better angle at landing a punch. He can't throw a jab to keep the distance. He could exit to his rear or exit to his right, but I think the best alternative may be to duck and smother in this moment. But he does a better move and ties Pedraza up. He anticipates the dip in the right hand. He pulls it. They use his hand control and Pedraza's momentum to maintain leverage, lands the left hook, and the right hook misses. Keeping his eyes open and on his opponent allows him to take advantage of openings by countering. In my previous film studies at Key, I noted that he doesn't allow guys to tie him up on the inside or muscle him up. He likes to be the bully on the inside. In this exchange, he's not as bladed body or feet. And his left hand is a little bit higher. So he faints at Pedraza. That slows Pedraza up. He's not able to take that step in. Faints at him again. Takes a half step back. Pedraza is no longer in range, so he can't throw that right hand. He throws the left hand to the body that does land. Keep ducks pivots and is able to spin out of there. You can see the Bud Crawford influence in his rhythm. And the third is when Pedraza's legs started to fail a little bit. And that's when Key really started to turn it up. He got really accurate with his counter punches and started making Pedraza pay for his mistakes.
All right, so Keyshawn looked real good in this fight. Regardless of the fact that he was going up against an Asian Pedraza, who probably used too much energy early on and burnt himself out too quick. But regardless of those facts, Key looked really, really good in this fight. His physique looked good. He looked like he um, was able to do all the things that he wanted to do. He looked strong. He didn't have too many of those moments where he would just like fall asleep at the will. He seemed real sharp in there. He was taking advantage of the opportunities that presented himself. And he was, he was thinking on a high level from early on in the fight. Now, if this the Keyshawn is going to show up in the future, I think we should see some good things from Keyshawn. He should have a really bright future. The kid got really good reflexes. His athletic abilities are there. And when clearly when he's focused in and outside of the gym, we see a bit of a different Keyshawn um, than we see when he's not focused. So I wish him well. I want to see the best from him. Um, looking forward to what he does in the future. All right, look out for more breakdowns, film studies, and lives. It's T from TNA Sports Network. I'm out, baby. Boxing is about you fight everybody. If you claim you the best, you got to fight the best. You know what I'm saying? You don't duck and you don't pick and you don't choose. Hey, you get your butt kicked, you get your butt kicked. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from Nairclaw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. Ain't got no day fighting today. These motherfuckers, they can't fight. Mm -hmm. That's the truth.